the European Union continues to declare that paying for Russian gas in rubles is unacceptable. Russia says that countries that do not adhere to new rules, forcing them to pay for Russian gas in rubles will be cut off from these supplies. Against this background, energy prices continue to slide. In particular, oil prices dropped to almost $110 per barrel. It seems that oil prices are being driven by speculative moves. Quite often, ahead of some important events, the quotes move in the opposite direction to the expected one. This is how speculators prepare for a possible price surge. However, there is not long to wait as Europe will have to pay for gas supplies in the rubles starting from April. Considering that there is a direct link between oil and gas, as well as the fact that the market expects Russia to demand payment in rubles for other commodities, including oil, the dynamics in the oil market directly depends on further developments in the situation. If Russia really suspends gas supplies, oil prices will surge. If the situation is resolved, the quotes will remain around the current value or slightly lower. Brand crude oil futures corrected and reached their first pivot point in the form of the 110 mark. At this level, the volume of short positions decreased. As a result, the asset rebounded. However, the trading chart shows that its corrective movement is still in force. This means that the benchmark may well extend losses. However, this signal will be confirmed only if the price fixes below $109 per barrel. The psychological level of $100 can be seen as the main pivot point. As for a rise in oil prices relative to the current value, this signal has not yet been confirmed. Traders will consider an alternative scenario if the price consolidates above $115.50 per barrel on the 4-hour chart. Gold prices are also staging uh, erratic moves. There is a looming threat of a historic transformation in the global energy market that could affect the global economy. Moreover, no one can predict what new international trade relations will be like. This indicates a steep increase in uncertainty. And under such conditions, safe haven assets are expected to gain value. Meanwhile, gold continues to lose value. The yellow metal has already fallen to the level of $1,920 per three ounce. Apparently, the situation in the gold market is similar to that in the oil market, which suggests the signs of ex excessive speculation. And thus, there is a strong likelihood that in two or three days, gold prices will either soar or remain in the area of current values. From a technical point of view, gold futures are still trading under pressure from sellers who managed to return to the quote to the support level of $1,920. However, in case of a repeat of the past, the volume of short positions may decrease, which will lead to a rebound to the $1,940 mark. Alternatively, if the price fixes below $1,910 per three ounce, the downtrend will continue and the quote will most likely drop below $1,900. In the meantime, the Russian currency continues to gain value, and this suggests that there will be no sharp price in oil and the gold prices. The US dollar exchange rate has already fallen below 90 rubles, and such a sharp increase in demand for the Russian currency can be attributed to the fact that European companies are preparing to switch to paying for gas in rubles. After all, EU authorities have not yet introduced any bans on a payment in rubles, but have just called on energy firms to refuse to pay in the Russian currency. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments in financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you now next release.